Isn't it excellent to strive for strength and independence? Yeah, sounds good. However, things can go bad when reality sets in. Despite the pursuit of fairness and equality modern day women brag about, it's important to acknowledge that complete equality between men and women will never be achievable. This goes beyond biological differences and extends to how each gender is treated within the legal system. At this point, the emphasis on equality becomes less significant and women may be granted certain privileges and concessions, including serving less time in prison for the same crime. Interestingly, this social engineering and programming can be traced back to a simple truth. When something unnatural is sustained for too long, it becomes akin to telling lies. Once you start lying, you need to keep lying to maintain a consistent narrative. Unfortunately, the false narratives promoted by mainstream celebrities like Cardi B, Doja Cat, and Beyonce do not help women in their pursuit of fulfilling relationships, and that includes the fact that sleeping around is great. You and I both agree that men running through women is detrimental to our society. Yes. The argument that I would make is in years past, when there were stronger patriarchal structures over society, there were decreased rates of men running through women because we had greater amounts of tradition in society. This whole liberation thing that is intimately tied into feminism, I would say that feminism is largely to blame for so many women in our society getting run through because earlier in the conversation, Destiny was making the point that nowadays we live in a society where a lot of women, both liberal and conservative alike, they want to go and build their careers and they want to go and enjoy their lives. And a big part of that enjoyment of their lives involves being free in their 20s. That thing that you dislike, that is a fruit of feminism. Yeah. And it's one of the things historically that patriarchy protected against because traditionally speaking, it was a father's job to protect his daughter's virginity and her purity and all that kind of stuff. That's like, that's a good thing for society. That's a this liberation stuff that's burning women is a fruit of feminism. In today's video, I'll delve into why the notion of a strong and independent woman often leads to negative outcomes, why it is consistently promoted, and the underlying agenda behind it, including the destruction of the family unit and, by extension, the rise of single mother households. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. Embrace your masculinity. Many men learn the hard way that dishonesty is detrimental. Why? Because they try to be someone they are not until their true nature is revealed. Similarly, modern women undergo a similar process, abandoning certain feminine qualities like homemaking and having children as they view these traditional roles as oppressive and patriarchal. Sadly, these women realize too late that the things feminism encourages them to have are not valuable to the eyes of men, so almost no man wants to marry a career woman who has lost all her femininity in the process. What's ironic is that most women who follow this trend are not thinking independently. The term trend is crucial because the concept of the strong and independent woman is just that, a trend. When someone points out that these women lack their own opinions, they're often labeled with derogatory terms like misogynistic, which by the way, is something most women don't even know how to define. Misogynism is, it's what the, where the sexism lies, is all your generalizations about women and all your generalizations about men. And when I ask you about yourself, you can't even say that you're high value men. But like, but you want to generalize everything and everybody and to fit to this certain Do bubble, you know what misogyny means? To fit into your facts. Okay, do you know what misogyny means? Misogyny is like, um, when, misogyny is just like a, a, a way of thinking that, that, values men more than women and in reality many of these women have enjoyed privileges that women in other countries don't have for instance women in other countries often work arduous hours in the burning sun conversely modern women particularly in the west aren't inclined to pursue mundane or so-called peasant jobs like plumbing fishing hunting and even agriculture 
They believe they deserve prestigious titles like CEO and desire a commanding office where they can earn respect from their subordinates. While I may be exaggerating, the core idea remains clear. I'm not referring to women who face genuine struggles due to circumstances like the loss of their husbands or their partners falling into addictions such as drugs or alcohol. Modern women feel a need to belong to a sort of sisterhood where one person's struggles becomes a shared experience. However, instead of seeking solutions such as choosing better partners, they believe that achieving success or using their bodies for financial gain represents independence. Unfortunately, they often follow others' words while ignoring their actions. Pay close attention. Uh, who do you think is a female role model? That will tell me a lot about you. Go a ahead. female role model give for me? me? Your, give me a female role model, yeah, that you think I is one. I would say Beyonce. Incredible. Go yeah. Queen. I would have to. Oh, okay. Like because, like, you know, like, that's the person I want. Like, the person that I strive to be is somebody that's discreet. And I also, like, you know what I mean? Somebody that's See, here's the thing with Beyonce, because I talked about this in my book in a chapter. She is probably one of the biggest con women ever. She tells y'all strong and independent. She tells you guys, all the single ladies, she tells you guys, I can have another you in a minute, blah, 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 blah. But guess what happened? She went ahead and married Jay-Z, who has a higher net worth than her, okay? She, when he cheated on her, she ain't going fucking nowhere, right? And she's still with him. So she tells you and sells you the lie of feminism and being single and you can replace him and all this other bullshit. Meanwhile, when it actually happened to her, she folded. So Beyonce is not a good role model. If you're gonna follow what she, her like mantra, if you follow her actions, maybe that's one thing. But what she sells y'all versus what she does are two different things. Beyonce is considered a role model for modern women due to her supposed independence as she tries to convey that message through her songs. However, she married a wealthier man and even stayed with him despite his infidelity. By no means am I suggesting that cheating on women is acceptable. Decent men don't reach such levels. The point I'm making is that today's female role models often fail to practice what they preach. And even if they do, they aren't necessarily good role models. Promiscuity, combativeness, and a lack of listening to one's partner are not admirable traits. The tolerance of men is diminishing, and they are no longer allowing themselves to be used by women for validation or financial gain. Speaking of money, here are two interesting observations. What do you want to buy him? Yeah, what guys don't care about things? gifts. Yeah, like you can buy them, it's but, nice, but they don't They don't care. Like, don't not know. like a girl, like if you buy her a gift, she's gonna be like, oh, it's amazing, but yeah. guys don't care. I think men care more about the thought. Like They're a price yes. tag doesn't matter. The effort. Right. Yes. I've got gifts from girls like where they've like painted something for me or they mm -hmm. gave me something like a small trinket or whatever, but it had like a meaning. Like it was something that I said months ago and she remembered. And she remembered. That matters a lot. Because that yeah. means she cared. Yeah. See, I just know Never. if a woman spends money on you, she likes you because her money is her money, bro. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> her money is her money, but your money is her money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Most most women, yeah, can go their entire lifetime without spending a dollar on a guy. The hotter the girl, the less likely well, they'll spend not, money that's on. That's not you. fair. If you're in a relationship, then you should give to each other. But right. I just think that guys genuinely like don't really care about gifts most yeah. of the time. Yeah. As a yeah. thought, like you said, something more intangible. Yeah, they care more about. intentional. Yeah. Like if you wrote him a thoughtful letter, I think he would care about that more. Okay. A man doesn't care about a woman's money because he'll never have access to it. Simple as that. But the case of divorce is even more outrageous. 67% of marriages end in divorce, right? But 80% of them are initiated by women. So you think divorce is this, you know, sort of this equaling the playing field thing for men and women, but it's not. It's mostly women leaving their men, leaving their husbands, destroying their families, strong and dependent. Now, 93% of alimony is paid for men to women, so you can leave your man, but you can take all his money. It doesn't go the other way around. So if women are so strong and independent, why do they have to, why is that the case? Why isn't it the other way around? Well, 83% of women receive primary custody of their children. Those may seem like wins, but 72% of inmates in state prisons were raised by single mothers. So having babies, taking the money, taking the baby is only putting your children in jail. It's not helping anyone. So feminism, congratulations. If women are genuinely strong and independent, why do they seek financial support from their ex-partners? It can be seen as nothing but greed. Some women claim they don't need a man until their biological clock starts ticking. Then it becomes challenging to have a child, and all the career success and material possessions hardly guarantee a comfortable life. Speaking of divorce, here's a case that even shows that women's strength and independence is fake. 
If you get married but you don't have a lawyer, trust me, you're screwed. The article is titled, Wife Wins Payout from Ex-Husband 20 Years After Divorce, and shows how screwed men are despite all the strong and independent women narrative. Here's a summary of the whole situation. The case of Wyatt vs. Vince has received significant attention as a groundbreaking judgment from the Supreme Court. The case involves a wife who, 19 years after their divorce, successfully claimed financial provision from her ex-husband. The couple had separated a few years after marrying in 1981, and their divorce was finalized in 1992. After the divorce, the ex-husband founded a successful energy company and accumulated considerable wealth, while the wife struggled financially. In 2010, she launched a claim seeking a settlement of 1.9 million pounds, almost 2.1 million dollars, which has been the subject of legal proceedings and appeals. The ruling emphasizes that there is no time limit for a former spouse to claim financial provision after divorce unless there is a court order dismissing those claims. This means that even after divorce, if there was no court order preventing future claims, a former spouse can seek financial provision if the other party later becomes wealthy. The Supreme Court sent the case back to the High Court for further proceedings, but it made clear that the wife's application would likely face challenges, and any award would likely be modest. While this case is unique and fact-specific, it raises implications for entrepreneurs and divorcing couples. Entrepreneurs who achieve significant financial success after divorce may be vulnerable to future claims if they did not address financial matters during the divorce proceedings. Additionally, divorcing couples, especially those representing themselves, should ensure they have a consent order to protect against future claims and revise their wills after the divorce is finalized. Seeking advice from a family law specialist can provide guidance on protecting against potential financial pitfalls and navigating the end of a relationship. All in all, the strength and independence of women is such that they might try to sue a husband they divorced multiple years ago just to make him pay a big chunk of his wealth. Ultimately, the real agenda behind all this is the promotion of dysfunctional relationships, unfairness, and even the dismantling of the family unit. Oh, and the financial destruction of men! Many men once dreamt of finding a life partner, but nowadays, it seems like nothing more than a distant dream or an unrealistic option, especially now that women are entitled to a man's wealth like never before. Women prioritize making and stealing money, pursuing careers, and engaging in activities that may not necessarily align with moral standards, rather than committing to a relationship. Ironically, these same women claim to be strong while simultaneously proclaiming that men are worthless, all while working under male bosses or in corporations predominantly run by men, or even selling explicit content to desperate dudes. It's quite interesting, isn't it? They end up needing men in various ways and even make these claims within educational institutions that were built by... Yeah, men. Let these women embrace their delusions while you, as individuals, strive for genuine happiness by pursuing your own growth and ignoring this societal decay. Keep your wallets protected. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? In your opinion, what do these women really mean by strong and independent? Ever dealt with this type of girl? Know any heartbreaking cases like the one shown in this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.